Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I would like to have the opportunity to speak about the Global Championship. It has been like maybe two or, or three months since I don't do a video like this where I explain like what we have seen in the Global Championship. The main reason is time. I am quite busy at work and for other personal matters. So I don't have too much time to do this. So the first thing I would like to say is it's my first uh, time playing with a new guild, which is called Singularity. We are in the server 699. Before I was in Titan Defenders. I had been Titan Defenders for a year. I had been mainly still the first guild where I was, when I was maybe three months, was the first time in the game. So not too much. I moved uh, to Titan Defenders. I had been always there. I had been always the place where we had played. We were not like Royal, but uh, we were able to go one time to relegations. Okay, which relegations means uh, we play against a royal uh, guild to try to enter royal. Okay, this is the, the idea. However, we didn't do it, but it was perfectly fine. So what happens here for the gossip is it was nothing good or bad. It was only uh, people start to quit him for the increase in price and in stuff like talisman, blue spheres, all this crap. Then people start not to play in and at the end, People were quitting and there were multiple people that were going to quit. So we were going to be half of the guild only. So I didn't have to, I didn't decide to move. And I already spoke a couple of times with people from Singularity. They look nice. So I moved there. Okay. So it was my first uh, time with them and how it went. So if I go to the details and I say, I think it's uh, calendar or leaks, I think leaks will not be in 22nd of Duke. Um, you need to be in the top 15 to be able to enter uh, relegations and you can see here so we run out quite close there our last uh, battle for saying away was again uh, a very strong guild nova party bus the old party bus okay and uh, in what it was they had not been forced and they are now playing to try to enter uh, royal okay they were quite quite strong guilds and you can see everything here is 690, 700, so max out Titan teams. And then when we go to uh, Heroes, this is something uh, unique. Okay, like things like this, like 2.3, 2.4 millions. You divide by three, you will have like an idea, you know, everything that is about 2.1 means that the, probably the three teams are 700k or more. This means at least two to three heroes uh, has very high glyphs. Okay, this level of almost 2.3 is like we are talking about high 700 or one time we saw, I think this guy has one team that is 800. I'm not going to show any of the teams that they were using because uh, I think they are playing right now relegations on Monday. So I don't want to show any team they are using in defense because it will not, fair, will not be fair for them. But this is what happened. If we go back to all the guilds we fight, we lost against Golden Lions that also currently are playing in relegations also. I think they got seventh Duke or something like this. Then we lost against Unicorn of Valor. This was my fault, my competitive fault. I failed an attack and then we did very bad here. You see, it was a very bad day. Sometimes these things happen. Phoenix, I don't remember, uh, was very close, okay. And then I think it's the only one we have. Yes, this is the only two. Honestly, I think it makes sense to lose against Golden Lions. Again, Unicorn of Valor. I don't know what happens there. Uh, it was a bad day for us with 3-6. We should have been able to win them. But bad day or very good day for them. Or maybe they, they are better and that's it. Simple like this. But in my opinion, we have a very bad day. And this one here, it was me. I fell uh, one battle that was a super stupid battle and here and it was quite uh, interesting because i tested and tested and tested against a higher team i was getting 10 0 10 0 10 0 and then i got a, i got a completely loss and i didn't i wasn't able to kill any hero which was the worst cleanup ever um, now i know what is the proper counter here it's not this at all um, these things happen sometimes was a mistake and then we lost. If we had won this, maybe we were right now playing in relegations, okay? So saying this, what I see new, what I have seen change, I will put it in defense and in attack. 
In the fence, I see a change in uh, Oya Tristan and a change in Dante Octavia. I see, for Dante Octavia, I see mainly, let me see where is Octavia here. I see mainly two trends. The old trend of putting Jasmine as a face line, maybe like Sebastian Lara, Sebastian Morrigan, uh, Nebula Lara with uh, Jasmine in first line. Okay, particularly if you have uh, Jasmine level 70 or 75, 80. Okay, the idea is to have a Jasmine with al at least 220, 240k of health. Okay, with a lot of dodge, particularly with the new talisman, the second talisman. Okay, the new trend that I have seen also is the use of Oya. Okay, this is new. I never seen this before. It's quite uh, interesting using Oya there. And then they play with uh, Sebastian. Remember to use the old talisman or the first talisman of Dante because he has critical hit. And then here people play with Lara. Uh, I have seen multiple options here, but probably this is the most common one. And I have seen playing with Lara there. I see people playing with Cascade and this type of thing. Okay, this is the new thing, playing Oya as a first line because when Dante activates her, his ability to give dodge to everyone else, it will give dodge to Oya. Oya will start dodging. If it does, it charges herself because of Octavia and also gets armor penetration. And this is the key. Oya getting armor penetration, okay, and being charged with energy is very dangerous. Particularly, this team is very, very, very strong when it arrives to levels of uh, Oya level 70 or above, okay? I can see this and it's quite a good team in, in defense. Okay, it has a particular counter, but it's difficult. The disadvantage of this is you lose uh, Oya Tristan. Okay, this is the disadvantage here. Another thing that I have seen trends is we see always this Tristan, Kela, Aiden, Oya. Where is Oya and Aiden? Okay, and a tank. I have seen this less and less and less. I see more. Uh, playing with another damage dealer, playing with Fafnir instead of Aiden and using Aiden in your second and your third team. But, and the reason of this is because there is a team that use Tempus the, with Iris that is very strong okay, against this team. Okay, but this is the other, um, the other thing I have seen. I have seen also people start not using uh, Oya Tristan uh, at all, like Oya with uh, Dante Octavia and Tristan not being used, I start to see this trend, particularly since the release of Tempus. Okay, for attack, what I have seen at least, I was reviewing all the Dante Octavia teams, which uh, heroes we will be using to beat them, and one thing I, uh, I realized is since the release of the second talisman of Astaroth, Astaroth is being used against Dante Octavia as more as uh, Anbari, and sometimes both of them, okay? Like, particularly people who start to get in Astaroth level 60, 65, they are using Astaroth with Anbari, also level 60, 65, and they are getting very good results, okay? These two tanks together against Dante Octavia. Before you didn't see that much Astaroth, it was mainly Anbari, Anbari and then sometimes Siri. But with the new Talisman, you have a high glyphs, Astaroth can get very uh, high level of armor. So you go to Astaroth. Okay. And you go to stats. You will see Astaroth with the new talisman is 43. With high glyphs, it can go to 50k. Which, if we go to City, level uh, 40. Okay. City has 55,000. Okay. So the difference is between 50, a high level Astaroth. 255 when you have a level 40 city. Of course, you can increase city to level 60 of armor, which is something I think, honestly, I think very interesting. Like, I think a city level 70, 75, in almost 80 will have like 1 million health. It will have a lot, a lot of armor. I think it will be around 63k. And I think it's very important because it's able to hold one armor, uh, armor penetration artifact and still been, uh, having 30k, so it would be a really a huge wall. I will not be doing because my glyphs are quite limited and I, with luck I am able to move every two months one hero to level 70, so I will not be city. But I think it's, it's quite interesting this trend, okay? And then we have Tempus. I have used Tempus almost one or two times 
in battle all the time. Tempus, I don't see like being used in in defense. Maybe you have things like this. Okay, quite interesting thing like Kela, Tristan with a where is Aiden? And then people put in Solei Tempus or put in Tempus alone and maybe Oya Tristan. Okay. Something like this. I have seen things like this, things like this, but not that often, okay? But in attack is impressive. Indeed, what I mentioned, there is one team that is uh, Tempus, Iris, I think Morrigan, where is it? Morgan, something else, something else, that beats almost the majority of Oya, Tristan, Kela, Aiden with whatever time you put there, okay? It also, Fafnir. So all these Oya Tristan Kela Aiden with this team, you can beat them with plus two. I will not say put the other two because it's uh, something we are practicing in the guilds. I will not say. So the good thing of this team is you need to pay with uh, Astrid. You need to use Corbul. You need to use Mori. Uh, sorry, you need to use Corbul. You need to play Astrid or Lara or your own Dante Octavia. Or, so using this team against this uh, Oya Tristan Kela Aiden, you can still have in your own Pro Steam, your own Oya Tristan, your own Dante Octavia, Astrid, Cascade, Lara for the other two teams. So quite good. And this is the reason that I think Kela, Aiden, Oya Tristan all together in one team is not going to be played anymore. Okay. Also, Tempus very good against Lara teams. So you have teams like, for example, team that is quite famous is the Julius, Nebula, Soleil. Okay. In, and then you play Lara with maybe Isaac or Lara, uh, Fafnir, things like this. Quite strong, I have seen also in defense. So Tempus will neutralize Lara quite well. So take uh, care of all this, okay? In attack, also mentioned this, uh, I have seen a lot of uh, progress teams with Soleil in defense, variation of it. If you see this and you go with this team, you probably will beat almost all the progress teams. Sometimes you need to put keep and put Astrid instead, or put uh, maybe uh, other hero depending on what is in front of you. But this team that you are seeing almost beats all the uh, Lara progress or Astrid progress or Ginger progress teams. Okay, and this is what uh, I have seen in victory. Like I will not have time to be honest because I think this is going to be reset in. I think maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in. Uh, Seven minutes, I don't know, seven hours, I don't know if it will be reset or it's after they give you four or three days of break. I don't remember if it will be the case or it will start already tomorrow, but it's going to be starting tomorrow. I will not be able to to do, to do show the videos of the battles that we have done, but uh, also because I need to remove all the guild names and all this is a lot of work and I don't have this work right now, but trust me what I said and this is the things I am seeing and particularly the Guilds like Golden Lions, like Nova Party Vice or Adelphos, all these are very high, high Duke uh, guilds, okay? The same than our guild that has finalized in 22. We are talking about top 25 uh, Duke guilds, which are Duke is the division below uh, Royal. So we are talking about top 50 globally, okay? So, and it's what we have seen so far. Okay, so let me know uh, if it's helpful this, if you would like to do more tests or show you other tests or anything, but I cannot show you uh, battles because people complain that I saw uh, the name of the guild, the name of the person and which level the heroes has and then they complain that this information is so bit hidden and I don't have time now to edit videos of battles and battles and battles. Okay, hope it helps and see you soon.